All right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to record um, the lesson three from the Rubank Elementary book for clarinet. Okay, if this is going to be stuck in there on the um, on the saxophone channel, um, and if it's not for you, don't worry about it. If it's for you, then you know it's for you. If it's not for you, then don't worry about it. All right, here we go. We're going to start at um, lesson three, number one, quarter notes and rest. Um, the first one is a list. Uh, you know, it, it, we went through it already. There's whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and there aren't any quarter rests yet, but we're getting there. Number, excuse me, lesson three, number one. One, two, ready? to it again if I'm going too fast you practice you stop the video practice it and then once you get it up to speed then you can play along okay let's go on to number two we're really going to have quarter notes we got one two three four measures it's just straight quarter notes and remember a uh, quarter note gets one count and four four times one count and make sure we're tonguing every single note all the notes are tongued okay every single one is tongued and we want to be able to tongue more clearly and distinctly. We're going to start, and we'll make sure we tongue with this part of our tongue right here. Remember? Mm -hmm. On the top. Not on the tip. On the top. And we're going to try to hit the reed about right there. Got it? All right, here we go. Uh, lesson three, number two. One, two, three. <laughs> enough right let's go on to lesson three now I know we're not using our right hand yet but it's still very important where we put our right hand we've got to make sure that our right hand is not sticking out like this because it's impossible to, to move it to play in, in, in a playing position make sure that it's always in playing position that our thumb is under the thumb rest and our right hand is over the over the holes like that okay all right here we go number three right yes number three one, two, three. Easy enough. Again, make sure that all the notes you're playing are of the right value. So when we start playing in an ensemble, everybody agrees that this is how long a quarter note is, this is how long a half note is, this is how long a, a, a whole note is. That way you don't have chaos. All right, number four. Look at number four. Again, number four is a two-liner, and we keep going until we get to the double bar. The, the skinny line and then the fat line afterwards, okay? That, that is normally the end of an exercise or the end of a song or, or, or something like that, okay? Here we go. Uh, number four, quarter notes, half notes, and a whole note. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Ready? Go. <laughs> That time it was important because out of nowhere became that that low B, B natural, right? So you didn't have to reposition your hand. If my hand was already there, it was just pressing down that middle finger. That worked out great. All right, number five. Number five is a one-liner. We still don't have any quarter rest yet, 
but we're getting there. Here we go, number five. One, two, one, two, ready? Go. <laughs> knees one right just basically two note values half notes get two quarters get one over and over again number six another two liner right number six and instead of going one three four one three four this one's backwards one two three one two three right here we go number six the two liner one two ready Did you recognize it still? It's lightly row. <laughs> it doesn't have a name on it, but it's lightly row. You learned lightly row in fifth grade or, your, or in fourth grade or whatever. Um, and it's in every book. It's in every book. It's even in this one. All right, number seven. Number seven has quarter rest. If you know that a whole rest gets how many counts of, of, of time, of silence? Four counts, right? Just like a whole note. If, if a half rest gets two counts of silence, like a half note, then you could just guess that a quarter note gets one count of silence, like a quarter note gets one count of sound, right? All right, here we go. Number seven. One, two, three. <laughs> Right hand then did too didn't you? All right, number eight. Number eight has quarter rest and quarter notes. And you're gonna need that right hand, so make sure that you have that right hand in playing position. I'm gonna move this down so you can see my hands as I'm playing. <clears throat> Here we go. Num number eight. One, two, three, go. <laughs> How handy was that, that all I had to do was, that I didn't have to do all that, right? And you don't want to rest the clarinet on this key for two reasons. Um, and you, you can't reach the bottom of your instrument and you end up bending that key because it, because it holds the weight of the clarinet. So you don't want to do it that, that way. All right, we are at number nine, the last, the last exercise in lesson three. Let's see, quarter notes and quarter rest. That's all we got. We know everything else. We just have to be really careful where the quarter rests are. It means we have to read very carefully. Here we go, number nine. One, two, three. <laughs> Now, in this exercise, all the rests were either on count two or count four. So there's a pattern. But don't always fall into a pattern because the music will, as soon as you get the pattern, the music will change. All you have to do is read one note at a time, okay? Read the first thing, then move your eyes to the second thing, the third thing, and so forth. Alrighty, that's all of lesson three. Make sure you get your practice in this week. Looking forward to hearing you soon. Bye now.